Well, there are other sports today, believe it or not. In Philadelphia, a letdown game for BC against Temple, but a sign of a good ball club. They won the ball game anyway. It was a frustrating day for BC. Here, uh, Flutie goes to Brian Brennan, and he'll fumble the football as BC coughed up scores of opportunities deep in Temple territory. In fact, uh, Temple in the red would drive for the lead here. Beautiful run by number six, Paul Palmer of the Temple Owls is going to set up a controversial go-ahead touchdown. Watch it closely. Quarterback Tim Reardon goes to Ellis uh, Presley here in the corner. Not Elvis Presley, Ellis. And it's 15-10 Temple. Now there's about five minutes to play in the game, and BC needs a clutch touchdown. Remember last week when uh, BC lost Troy Stratford in a kickoff return? Well, Jack McNeil had to throw out his backup tailback, Kenny Bell, to try and get something going, and he broke one into Temple territory, set him up in good shape. But it took a third down scramble by who else? Quarterback Doug Flutie of Natick, who scooted around the left side in a third and 11 to pick up the key first down for the Eagles. Later on, same drive. It's going to be Flutie, and he's going to find his favorite receiver, Brian Brennan. He'll the winning touchdown, which Strahan, the Eagles win it by three. Bicknell after the game. We were scared. We really were. We, we had been down there all day and couldn't get in the end zone, almost like last week. And we came down this time. Doug made a heck of a play down there on the option, and we went, we got in there and won it. The trick is getting the points on the board. We've been having trouble getting the points on the board, and we finally did it when we needed it, and we came through.